Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. How are you doing? How's it going? Um, wow, a lot of people are hated by Chava, the Tree of Life. I don't know if that's like meant to be a thing or not, but it seems to be a thing. Oh, we got some Reshiv lore. Let's go ahead and hand that in right now. Zazapur. Uh, Zazapur. Disliked by the villagers of Kyakuka. Well, we can't. Uh, we want to be on good terms with them, actually. So we'll go ahead and hand this in. That was an XP. We're well on our way to level 10. This, it's been a very eventful run for only being... Me being level 9. Like, just absurd... Lo like, events going on. We have our cybernetics. We have a cybernetics uh, seller. Um, I think... Oh, we got some more Resha floor. Nice. We've got an Icker Merchant. Any Anything good with the Icker Merchant? Nope. No cloning draught. No Neutron Flux. Uh, you have to be a fairly high tier um, Icker Merchant to sell those goods. Um, so that's, you know, one of the reasons that the last run was good. One of the few things that really set it apart was the fact that I had a legendary Icker Merchant on tap. You know, just like available for us. That really helped a lot for us to get some of the uh, more difficult to obtain liquids which is a thing we're going to take uh, out of context um, so we've got a I think we no that's a glove sailor I thought they were they were a book binder um, not a great stilt so far a lot of cybernetics but we don't care about cybernetics as a mutant we got a hatter that's nice I love that for us um, is this a chef that's a chef We've got a beekeeper, thank goodness. Really don't think that there's any uh, or much good to, to be had there. We've got a couple of haberdashers. Haberdashers are fine, um, but not really useful for us in the long run. We've got a lot of, uh, I think, a bookbinder. We do have a bookbinder. That's nice. That is our one good sales seller right now, like one good shopkeeper. The, 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 Stilt is kind of bad. We've got a gunsmith or a grenadier. I don't care either way. Uh, another chef. Oh my god. Is this... Are we? Do we not have a schematic seller at all? Not even one? This could be bad. This could be our worst stilt ever. Uh, yeah, actually. No schematic salesman. Wow. That is rough. That is rough. I don't know what to do about that. No schematic sailor. Jeez. Oh, we got to level 10. That's kind of nice. Well, not much to do that, that we can do about that. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's leave. You're too famished. Yeah, that makes sense. We could get our uh, Bela quest. There's not a lot to... Um, apparently, uh, I think a few people have told uh, told me about this, but Illuli Heart actually represents the Pariah. So um, they are a prime ex uh, example for, like, you know, the landing pads achievement, for one. Um, but yeah, they, they, they represent the, the Pariah. You see, loved by Pariahs, disliked by the villagers of Alag Alagabal. I want to... We're going to put on our mechanical wings. They don't actually require power, which is really nice, but they're also not guaranteed to work all the time. They, they, they work like normal flight. Uh, you know. Did I seriously not eat any food? Okay, well, we'll go ahead and eat some hot and spiny. Gives us heat resist for dawn gliders. That'd be kind of nice. Mechanical wings are, are going to help us with our longevity, our survivability. We're going to check out this um, historical site. Oh, God, that was maybe not great. Okay, we're going to go ahead and fly. We'll escape that situation. Uh, I just wanted to get the initial uh, XP from discovering the historical site. We'll go ahead and uh, stop flying so that we don't accidentally fall out of the sky kind of want to set that to a hotkey because I'm going to be doing it a lot and um, we'll, we'll try and find ourselves unlost I 
All right. We got our first dawn glider. I think they've seen us. We will avoid the dawn gliders. You discover some forgotten ruins. Are we still lost? Yes, we are. We could bum around the forgotten ruins a little bit just to just to do something. Oh, there's a dawn glider to the far east. I see that in the, on the mini map. Mini map, a good way of uh, seeing some important stuff. I wonder, do I have the nearby list displayed right now? Uh, but, 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 nearby list. It should be on display, but it looks like it's not right now. I have been having a little bit of problems with um, certain stuff, but it might be that it's only available when I am actually nearby something. <laughs> Are we still lost? You regain our bearings. Okay, cool. Um, I lost again. All right. That's fine. We don't have any wayfaring right now, and I haven't taken any skills. I could. I have 774 skills. We should take some skills. I should take some skills. Um, I can't take trash defining because I don't have the intelligence. Um, but we should take away. I'm going to avoid taking uh, wayfaring with the lake Hinnon or with the Palladium Reef for obvious reasons, because I still want to get the achievement of buying that pearl. I thought we got wayfaring under our cast, but I guess not. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this and buy salt dunes just for now. We'll get the other ones later. Um, and I'm also going to take cooking and gathering because I want to start working on that achievement of collecting um, various, you know, recipes. Carbide Chef. I don't know what, what's, uh, what weapon I want to go with yet, but right now I don't, I'm not too concerned about it. Also, kind of, let's take Tinkering, and I'm going to take Disassemble, because I want to start that going. Um, we'll take Tinker 1, why not? Drum loaded or slender? Not really great picks right now, are they? We'll take flashbang. Flashbang is fine. Okay, well, we're still lost. We regain our bearings. This is good. Let's head back to Jopa and we will... I, I actually will use our cloning draught on Sisyphus. In the, in the spirit of, uh, you know, the series. We still have that, right? Okay, that wasn't... Pour, uh, pour it nearby. Sisyphus, how many drams? One. A grotesque protuberance swells from Sisyphus's back as he begins to bud. And we wait. I'm gonna go ahead and wait a hundred turns. There it is. Two cats are better than one. That's true. Two Sisyphuses in Jopa. So this is nice. I, I, I am, I'm happy with this, you know. Uh, we'll go ahead and get our historic site from this, which I haven't done. I can't believe, you know, like the adventure we went on is kind of crazy. But um, we do have a couple of artifacts we can hand over. I think I can, I, I should be able to uh, take care of them myself. So I'm going to go ahead and just go and sit down and uh, examine them. We're high. We should be high enough intelligence to do so. Is caps lock on. Yeah, I accidentally hit caps lock. I have an acid gas grenade. Strange tubes. Metal folding chair. Our first metal folding chair. What a, what a uh, milestone achievement. Scoped chrome revolver. Meh. That's fine. Might be nice when we run out of lays. Um, but I have a chain gun. Kind of want to take heavy weapons, but we need strength for that. Like, it's, it's not great. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and equip this under our missile weapon, and I'm also going to treat them as scrap, because I don't really want any more of them. Things are looking up. Would love to get another chem cell. I guess um, I could potentially recharge it. I think Argive will recharge it for a fee. 
Uh, I'd have to unequip it though, unfortunately. He has masterwork as an item mod. Oh, high powered magnet. Oh, <laughs> wow. Um, let's go ahead and unequip our gaslight Chris. I guess I don't have that option on. Recharge. You don't have any A bits. Okay. Um, remove. Can I get Argive to charge it from when it's still in the gaslight, Chris? No. So that officially makes this like 100% not worth it right now. I'm going to do it, but man, if it isn't like really cumbersome, I'm going to have to replace the cell, remove the cell. Talk to Argive, begin trade, go to the chem cell, uh, which is where, where is the chem cell? There it is. Please recharge. 19 drams. Uh, and I don't have that. Apparently I'm completely out of water. <sighs> wow. Let's go ahead and sell the chain gun. I don't think I'm going to make any use of that if I'm being honest. And I'll sell the bloodstained neck ring as well. And I'm just gonna do that. We'll get some water. And then now, can you please recharge my chem cell for 19 drams? Like, God, that's a lot of drams, to be honest. Oh, I guess I could sell my torches. Um, do I have, I should, I think I have yeah, we'll give them the defoliant grenade and the acid gas grenade to complete this quest. Defoliant grenade. And acid gas grenade. They're useful. Actually, you know what? Let's see, give away the metal folding chair. How about that? that? That makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Accept the quest. And we already do. I guess we need 200 thing, uh, wire. As unfortunate. We have 120 right now. Okay, um, chem cell. We have a chem cell. We want to put this back in our gaslight Chris now that it is charged and we'll go ahead and equip that. I guess we want to go short blades, huh? Is short blades agility? A, a short blades ag agility isn't bad. We could go agility. Yeah, it is agility based. We'd need like high agility to max it out, but it is potentially doable i'd probably prefer saving our attribute points for like willpower um or you know ego but that's not necessarily um, super important we do have a bunch of mutation points I'll, i'm just gonna shove them all onto light manipulation for now okay so we have light manipulation six i'll keep the rest for later for buying mutations potentially um okay and uh what else can we accomplish we didn't get the we haven't done the red rock quest so um i'm gonna go ahead and do that well uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the jopa crack over there it's always a good idea to do this because there's some extra goodies down here worth worth gathering um we are if we, we have seven charges now with our light manipulation and it's going to be doing a lot more penetration. So we're uh, kind of officially out of our like rut of struggling in the swamp. Would have been nice if I had done, you know, done that without an extra crazy adventure and without dying uh, underground. <laughs> but, you know, it, it happens and uh, can't really do much about it. Ooh, what the heck? Snapjaw feeder, what are you doing here? Well, you're, oh, wow. These are fairly high tier snapjaws. Unusual to see them. We are bleeding. You, oh, no, we're poisoned. Uh, we have some really, really good stuff here, but we are not quite out of danger just yet. Oh, we should have bought ammo. Can we maybe proselytize this lad? Nope. And they might kill us. Can we dominate them? Yes. Why did there... Oh, the poison. Oh, we're bleeding. We're bleeding twice right now. 
We could potentially die here if I'm not careful. Do I? I don't have any more meds. <sighs> that might do it. Uh, that might actually kill me. Killed to Snapjaws. Still bleeding. We're no longer bleeding. Uh, incredible. We actually, like, ceased death down to one turn. We're famished. We're thirsty. We're not inspired. Surprised we're not inspired, to be honest. So what do we have here? Steel plate. Um, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and wear that. We could definitely use some extra AV. We have some, um, generally I wouldn't take this kind of stuff, but we could actually use some extra water. And now we're overburdened and that's why you don't take that stuff. I mean, we, we are wearing like steel plate, which is also like really heavy, but you know, never mind. Fix it spray foam. Nice. I do love a good fix it. We all, we also have a bunch of scrap that, um, generally you will, your character will auto disassemble this stuff, but not if you're in danger. So you can, uh, sometimes end up with extra stuff that you don't, uh, th th is not serving you. That, a that the extra AV from our steel plate is already serving us pretty well. I don't like that corner. That corner was not nice. Pretty sure we have to keep going down. We've got a, some kind of, oh, a ray cat. Got some nasty stuff going on here. Uh, let's proselytize this warlord. Nope, never mind. I should really have bought some witchwood bark. Okay, let's, uh, let's dominate this warlord and i guess kill the dog which sucks but we will do some damage to the other snap jaws in the zone so just to put us out of danger why <laughs> we really went uh oh damn i thought that they would have oh and now now the snap jaw warrior is on us still not convinced huh Okay. We are getting shot at from some kind of snapshot. We're going to go ahead and rest here so that they walk up on us and then we'll just get the rest of our healing. It is really nice to be able to rest again. Remember when I couldn't rest for some reason? There were there were reasons for it, but um like they were kind of weird. Okay, we are continuing our journey through this the, the Jopa crack. Killing that. Is that it? Was that it's a warrior? Snapshot warrior. We have a bear. Do we want let's let's dominate the bear? Oh no. No. Okay. I don't think we we didn't end up in the time portal. But we are we got very close to getting <laughs> getting time portaled. Okay, that was uh that was kind of spicy, I won't lie. That was a little bit spicy. Is that? Oh, I thought that was a beetle for a second there, but it wasn't. It was just um, some destroyed stuff. Wow. Can we do an intimidate? And then we'll kill this amoeba. Amoebas really can hit very hard. Is this fresh water? No, salty water. Wait a minute. That might be good, actually. No, it's just salty water. Um, Illumid, husband to something. Got engraved picture. Oh, remember when we had a actual like sights on a wine weep? That was kind of cool, right? We're just going to explore. I wouldn't like, I would like to get a clarification on whether or not you actually get experience, um, for your main character. If you're killing creatures as a dominated creature. 
that would it would be I, I would like to get clarification on that Obviously, uh, you know difficulty or challenge level of creature would be taken into consideration. I have to assume Because like, you know, if you're killing snapjaws as a bear, you're not going to be getting experience We have a rifle here by the way and a painted bronze dagger Kind of I'm just gonna treat these as scrap There's there's gonna be a bear around the corner that is not not our friend Especially since we dominated them and then like killed everything else on this in the zone as them Doesn't really make you friends with someone, you know when you take over their brain and then fight fight things as them You know don't don't speak for me also don't whoa what I, I accidentally hit a button and it created a time portal Oh no <laughs> Oh god We're on the jungle again. Oh, it's happening again <laughs> You know what let's proselytize quillipede I'm convinced really okay. Well, I guess you get dominated instead We're gonna do a little bit of a scout Uh, let's go ahead and flings quill some flings Okay, where where are we? I, I, I'm just like pressing buttons right now Fighting Naftali oh, at least we're in the jungle and not like some kind of hardcore deep jungle. Oh good, a goat folk village. Love that for me. Oh. This is uh this has been a very trepidous run so far. Maybe taking um quantum jitters was a mistake. A lot of people would uh, definitely suggest that it, it is generally a not a good move. I mean, it, it's a it's it's a defect for a reason, right? You know, like, oh, okay, so don't go in this direction. Disliked by the Isakari tribe, loved by goat folk. I mean, it'd be nice if I had a love injector, but I don't. We could fling some quills. Yeah, they they are dead, and we are running away <laughs> from that d general direction. This is a gofo village. I don't want to be here either. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Something is shooting at us. I'm going to run away. Oh, we aren't actually lost. We could, um, let's fly away. Fly away. Where are we? Okay, we're here. Not a terrible place to be. We could go to Kekyukya. Let's go to Kekyukya and uh, make friends with the locals. It's been it's been pretty wild. I, I've never been like teleported by accident so many times to random locations in the world. Okay, let's talk to Nintu. Let's see what kind of reputation Nintu has. Admired by crabs, disliked by robots. Oh, why, Nintu, you, you have such terrible reputation. But I guess I will have to make peace with this. I mean, I, I you know, happy to... Happy to, to, to abide, I guess. Do we have enough? We don't have enough skill points to get... Um, the uh, extra reputation points, but anyway, um, yeah. Let's see what kind of uh, rep. Well, the the oh, that's a well. We have a like a 
weirdo extra goat folk here. That's unusual. They are a worshiper of a Borokoro. <laughs> Odd. Loved by fellowship of wardens and pariahs. Admired by the villagers of Kirkyuka. Hated by goat folk. Well, I don't think we're going to be friends with goat folk on this run because I do want to make friends with Kirkyuka. There is a specific reason, by the way. Um, as I mentioned before, but... Uh, the... You, there's an achievement for making, uh, convincing 10 villages to take in the Slinth, and you get an extra great, like, wildly massive, uh, gift for doing so. I don't know, like, this is just one of those things, like, would you ever find this out as a player? Maybe. You could potentially, for sure, but, like, less likely. Oh, I just went to the lake. That was dumb. We're going to go to the canyon and then mountain. And then I guess I'm going to go to the rust ruins. And I still haven't made it to the red rock to red rock. But yeah, um, if you are, if you make friends, uh, with 10 villages such that you can, uh, you know, convince them to, to have the slint, you get an extra achievement. It's a good one. And, um, it's one I hope to make at some point. And... It's just easier, straight up, to do this by making friends with all of the named villages, like Kyokuka. Also, the reward is kind of specific to the very, like, um, the, to the specific villages that you, uh, convince. I'm not explaining myself very well right now, but basically, depending on which villages you have convince the, the Slint to, to join, um, you'll get different rewards. You'll get a, a specific reward. And um, depending on the village that the Slint actually end up joining um, will will kind of affect the reward you're given. I don't want to be here anymore. I think I can fly out of here. Yes, I can. Doing so is a little bit um, risky, but I'm pretty sure it's as long as I stick to the edge, it's fine. Yeah, you can actually, if you have wings, you can, like, fly into the rust, uh, the, the rust well and then fly out. I think, now that the rust wells have been completed, quotation marks, um, now that they are, like, what was meant to be done, I think there's a full story told um, via Argive. Now, hear, hear me out. I, I don't think this is going to blow anyone's mind, but... I, I'm going to tell it because I think it's it's funny in general. But um, if you follow along with what our guy have said, then he lets you know that he already sent someone to go and collect wire for him. He already sent someone on a quest, right? And it's it's pretty obvious that he sent them to the Rust Wells because um, you can come across the remains of the person that he sent which is the flattened remains. They're flattened because they fell from the sky. We know this because they, you can grab mechanical wings off of them, right? Uh, so, you know, this, this story is kind of told um, with environmental storytelling. Uh, and I think we know this now, like it's, it's pretty obvious now why they had mechanical wings is because they were going to the rust wells to do exactly what we're doing right now which is to fly down get get his stupid wire and then fly out easy job who who could see foresee that being any kind of a problem unless you were to accidentally fall out of the sky you know maybe you were joyriding maybe they were joyriding and then they uh you know <laughs> fell out of the sky and it's pr pretty clearly what happened and uh so I, I think that these mechanical wings are actually archives. And I think that that is explains why, why his previous like friend died and why he had mechanical wings in the first place. I think there's a full story to told there, which I really like. 
Um, can I know what it is first? I require no full further information. I will go. We finally have our mission to go to Gritgate, but I want to go to Red Rock first and actually complete this goal because how, just like hot damn, what, how, like I've never been like dissuaded or distracted so many times from a goal as I have in this run. It's been like one thing after another. I was just like, I'm gonna go to Red Rock. Oh, the dirt, you know, and then, then like, you know, oh, find myself in 15 different space time vortices teleported halfway across the world. In one thing after another, you know, it's been a, just a dang like trip. There we go. There's our Gersh, and I have to try and kill them without Lays because I don't. I, I need the corpse. Fortunately, we have a gas like Chris, which is still being powered. This is good. We'll grab this uh, uh, Gershling corpse. Uh, unfortunately, that is going to wildly overburden us. In fact, I can't even carry it. How in the world are we going to carry that back? I don't think we have a recoiler, do we? Oh, we do. Okay. Uh, why, why, Argive, would you give me a Jopa recoiler that is like partially charged? Why would you, why would you do that? We have partially charged it a little bit more. <laughs> so hopefully now it is charged enough that we can actually bring it home and now i'm gonna have to do this thing where i drop the gersling corpse i don't know I, I do i have to like i have to take it to freaking what's his face they were dead okay well i'm gonna do a pause here and then, and then uh maybe 10 minutes later when i when i actually get the corpse over there I guess I could, no, even if I drop everything, I don't actually have the strength to carry this thing and I don't want to really take strength. So I'll, I'll be back in just a second. All right, it's, it wasn't that long, but it was, and yes, I did actually drag this freaking corpse. You can see my message log as proof um, that I did actually drop and pick up the Gershling corpse like 20 times to bring it over here. Um, so let's go ahead. I returned from Red Rock with the corpse of a sp pale spiderling elder. Can you examine it? Yeah, there it is. Thank you. Live and drink. Uber nostrum inje injector, fix it spray foam, solve injector, solve injector, solve injector. There isn't really much reason for me to hand that in, but we do get some reputation. And we do actually want to get some more reputation. Unfortunately, our crab rep just decreased. And there goes our crab rep. But we do need to make friends with everyone in Jopa um, for the purposes of the uh, Slinth quest. Pretty sure, have we made, oh yeah, I'm still carrying the stupid Gershlin corpse. Sorry, Iridad, but you're now, you, you now have a new installation in your house of a Gershlin corpse. Sorry. Sorry, bud. Uh, admired by Jopa, nice. Warden uh, Uareg. Uh, has some pretty good reputation. We've almost got enough reputation um, to make Jopa a uh, candidate for the slinth. Is Mehet, Mehmet, did I make friends with you? I don't know if I want to be disliked by Chava, but it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be doing anything with Chava. So, so what would the inspiration to name your Bernostrum injector? Do you wish to do so? No, not really. All right, and with that, we now have enough reputation with jo Jopa to make them a candidate for the Slinth. Um, is Argive also loved? No, Argive is not uh, not important enough, apparently, to have reputation with Jopa. Okay, so we are officially done with um, Jopa for now. We will... I guess if I, if I do come back in the future to make enemies with them. Like, I'll be breaking several water rituals. This will be a thing that I do probably before I end this character's run. Um, 
but yeah i'm thinking the the, the actual shoal quest the shoal achievement um the one i want to get in a actual classic run legitimately it'll have to be its own series this what i'm thinking i think i might just like do role play mode as you know in the future um but you know we'll we'll we'll, we'll We'll think about it. We'll talk about it later. Anyway, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And thank you very much to the subscribers of my coffee for supporting the channel and a series like this. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.